Good morning, crazy boy. Good morning. Honestly, the nicest morning, just doing house things. My body is really sore. I did a hectic workout yesterday. So I'm gonna have today as a rest day because I have a very busy day work-wise anyway. I kind of just thought I would vlog the next few days. I know you guys love kind of the behind the scenes business content. So I'm trying to deliver as much as I can. Before I jump into that stuff though, I'm actually just doing my morning skincare in here. I always keep my skincare pretty minimal, honestly. I would give you a little bit of a rundown on my to-do list inside my head that I've just like written out so that yeah I don't know you just kind of know where my head's at so the first thing I need to do is I need to finish glazing um, I'm not too sure if you'll be able to see behind me but I just have a few more of my autumn collection mugs that I need to finish glazing before I then drive over to my kiln unload the custom mugs that are in there now and then reload the kiln with all of my finished autumn collection. So that itself will probably take a little while, but unloading and loading the kiln is just the best feeling ever. It's always super rewarding, and I just think it's a fun process to document and show you guys. And then once I come home, I am going to start packing the custom mug orders. In between then, I need to go to the post office. I need to go to my mom's house to feed the cat and then I've just got like some house things to do. I have three emails that I have to reply to today. And then to wrap it all up tonight, I am going to go into a sauna at City Cave just by myself to kind of unwind <laughs> and I don't know, just to spend some time to myself. I've definitely been trying to incorporate more of that into like my weekly routine. Mm -hmm. Majuri for sponsoring this portion of the video. As by now you all know I love and proudly wear Majuri every single day and have for probably a few years now. I feel like I'm in that time of my life or just like mid-20s in general is about like experimenting with your style and I'm getting like lots of different pieces and just kind of trying to figure out what I like and because of that I am running out of places to put my jewelry. I didn't realize how badly I needed something like this until I got it. This is the beige jewelry box by Majori and it is honestly life-changing when it comes to storing your jewelry. Prior to this, I just had all of my jewelry like scattered around the house on little trinket trays and things, but they were just collecting dust and I was often losing things. Definitely not a good long-term way of storing my pieces, especially because I want to have them forever. And if I look after them, I know that they will last forever. If you guys are like me and also in need of some jewelry organization and storage, or you just want to check out some of Majuri's pieces, I'll leave the link to their website in the description box below. And once again, a big thank you to Majuri for sponsoring this video. Let's jump back into the vlog. I don't know what I feel like wearing today. It's kind of hot and chilly and like gloomy outside. I'm thinking I might go for jeans. Um, maybe this dark wash pair. Thank you. 
got home about 40 minutes ago, I think, and ate some food. I was starving. I just had some leftovers. My hair is freaking crazy. What's new? But I have to show you these mugs. I am obsessed. I say this every time I take a load out, but these by far are my favorite batch of customs. I think the glaze is literally just on point. Like I'm so proud of them. I've just been shooting some film photos because I like to do that before I send them all out, obviously. But how divine is this stack? I love this blue check design so much. I think it is to die for. Here are the others. I've recently switched up my glazes and I just think these ones are so much better. This is the Oopsie Daisy print. I always like to shoot content for like around an hour or two. It honestly doesn't take too long, but I never regret it. And the photos always come out so good because all of my things are made to order. I never really get a chance to get content if I don't shoot it like before I ship it out. So yeah, that's what I like to do. Yoki is literally in this box. Come on, pop your head through. <laughs> what are you doing in the boxes? actually used to shoot my content on a DSLR camera. I sometimes still take photos on that, but honestly, very, very rarely these days. I shoot most of my stuff on film now. I generally shoot with just the cheapest film or whatever I can find. Right now, I've got a roll of Kodak Gold in there. Film, especially like Portra and the nicer ones have been really hard to get at the moment. So yeah, I kind of just get whatever's available and I fix and touch up the colors in Lightroom once I get it scanned and developed anyway. So yeah, for those wondering, this is what I shoot most of my Instagram content on for Lolita Balalita. I've had the nicest morning. I went for a walk with my friend Mia. I don't often get to see her because she lives in Brisbane. And then I came home and Alex and I did a whole heap of fresh juicing. We definitely don't do that enough. Every time I do it, I'm like, why don't I do this more? It is literally the best thing ever. And you just have so much fresh juice in your fridge for like days to come after. Anyways, I've gotten ready. I feel like it doesn't get much more work from home than this. This is, um, I think it's called the On The Go set from Jerf. It's honestly not the most flattering thing. Um, I've worn it out a few times unbuttoned with just like a little bra underneath. And I think that's really cute. But just for home vibes today, I'm just wearing it fully done up. And it is so comfy. I have a Zoom meeting with my management today. So that's kind of why I am dressed up a little more than normal. And then I'm doing my daily outing to the post office. Exciting stuff, but I think my air wrap is there, so. Oh yeah, and I just have a few orders that I need to finish packing up and send out with me as well. I'm packing these orders have you guys been watching the latest season of selling sunset it only came out a few days ago and alex and i are honestly hooked we've been watching it every single night and i just can't believe the drama in this season 
I'm so sick of Christina. She just needs to leave. But we're almost finished and it literally came out like a few days ago, which is really bad. But yeah, if you haven't seen it yet, it's really bad but really good. You literally just want to binge the whole season in like a very short amount of time. Chriselle, Mary and Heather are still my favorites. If you're watching it also, you'll have to comment down below and tell me what you're thinking of this season. Yoki is obsessed with these packing peanuts, so I have to keep them in this container and then I put them like really high up so he can't reach them because otherwise he just always tips them out everywhere and it's so annoying. Literally, I'm just finding these little things around the house constantly. Every time someone places an order, um, each order comes with either a free sticker sheet or a little circle sticker. So that's a little fun extra that I like giving to people. Don't mind me just drinking out of my new Lolita water bottle. Are you kidding me? I just had quite possibly one of the most exciting deliveries ever come to my front door. These are the new Lolita by Lolita X Frank Green water bottles. I couldn't wait to show you guys them. They're gonna be available in three colorways. This is the white one. We all know how obsessed everybody's been with Frank Green water bottles this summer. And I posted a little preview of them on Instagram today and it's made me so happy because you guys are literally as excited about it as I am. So these are the three colors that are gonna be available. I'm gonna literally put them on the website within the next few days. So chances are by the time you see this video, they'll probably already be online. I really wanna do like a cute beach shoot with them, which I will eventually, but the weather is just, it's not letting me. It's been nonstop rain, like cyclonic winds for the past week and it's forecast to be for another two weeks. So I cannot wait. I'm gonna just take some cute little iPhone snaps and list these within the next few days. So that is a huge update. I'm back from quite possibly the most exciting PO box outing ever. I have one package from Jeff Avenue. This is from the birthday drop and then the long awaited Dyson Airwrap. I did start opening it in the car just because I wanted to make sure it was the correct thing and yeah that it was actually the Dyson. First impression it is actually like not as big as I thought it would be which is kind of good because I have a lot of travel planned for this year and I want to take it with me obviously. Wow okay this casing is so nice. Big fan of the brown leather inside. Definitely going to be needing to watch these tutorials. There's like a foam protective thing. And then here she is. So I got the complete air wrap for long hair. I was recommended to get the longer one by a friend. She said like kind of no matter how long your hair is, it's still better. So I don't know if I want to get it out now because I don't want to mess up everything. But I'm going to have a proper play around with this. Um, and definitely will be using it in future videos. So stay tuned for that. And then moving on, this is my Jeff package. This is from her birthday collection. And usually I find the shipping for Jeff to be pretty fast, but this one did take a little longer. Oh my god, yay. I got the tube dress in blackberries. I got this in a size small and it literally looks like the perfect size. It is so soft. I'm so excited to try this on. I wanted to get it the last time they did a restock of this dress and I didn't get up at like 1am or whatever crazy time it is here in Australia and I missed out so I made sure that when they restocked it I was like on the website at exactly 1am and I'm so glad I got it. <laughs> and then I got the bandeau tank in this green colour. Obsessed. I'm already starting to build my overseas wardrobe um, and this will definitely be a piece that you see me wearing quite a bit. This colour is even nicer in real life. And then finally, to qualify for the free shipping, I also just got this little white tank. I got it in a size small. Hopefully it fits 
it looks nice and long which is good because i don't like love cropped singlets i actually think it would look really cute underneath the on the go set that i'm wearing right now so i'll definitely try that out but the material is just really nice and thick and ribbed and perfect as per usual that is everything that i got i'm gonna go back upstairs to the studio and just keep working for the afternoon and then i think i'm gonna make a nice like hearty soup for dinner that i will show you how i make Summer rain on the window. Pretty good action. Like Watch the time float on. Cool it blows.